Hi, welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new, then welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle. And today we are going to learn, or we're going to go over, unless you already know it. But if you, I'm assuming if you know it, you wouldn't be here. But anyway, we're going to learn the traditional black smoky eye. And this is going to be like easy mode makeup. So I always tell people, like, if you're learning makeup, or if you ask me for advice, that the first thing you should learn is a smoky eye. Because if you learn a smoky eye, that means you learn how to blend. And if you can blend, you can do almost any makeup routine. So this is going to be easy makeup today, or easy mode makeup today. And we'll get started. So I already filled in my brows. I used my Brow Coat Brow Pencil and my MAC. I keep forgetting what this thing is called. Shape and Shape Brow Tint, right? So before I do anything that anything with my eyes, I'm gonna do my face really quickly and I'm gonna do that, probably either gonna speed through it or I'm gonna cut it out, we'll see. So real quick, before I start on my face, I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using the Donesta Myricks Illuminating Veil just to give me some glow under my skin. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty. Y'all know, I don't know what stuff it's called, but this is, Faux filter, that's what it's called. I'm sure y'all know, but I didn't. I I know it's the Huda Beauty Foundation, but the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix 24-Hour Concealer. I'm going to set my face with, oh, and I'm going to use this um, Huda Beauty Tantor. This is my first time using it, so we'll see if I like it or not. But um, let me take it out the box. There we go. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Tantor. I'm going to set my face with the uh, Fenty Beauty Faux Pro Filter. Faux Filter, Pro Filter. So that's, you know, that confused me already. Set my face with the Huda Beauty. Nope. I'm going to set my face with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. Pro Filter Powder. I'm going to set under my eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. All right, we got that. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm probably going to speed it up so you can still watch it. Oh, and I'm priming my face with Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. All right. So I went a little heavy with the powder under my eye, just in case we get any fallout, which probably won't happen, but just in case it happens, we prepare for it. All right, the key things you will need when you do a smoky eye is you will need a blending brush, right? This is to diffuse the color. So when you place it, it's gonna look like a lot. So diffuse it, you wanna use the blending brush. Then you're gonna need a placement brush, just a flat brush, any flat brush. These. It does not matter what brand the brush is. It's just a fluffy brush, a flat brush. These are like the main ones that you're going to need. Then I have this stubby little brush, which you can also use this as a flat brush too, if you really think about it. But I have this stubby little brush for under my eye because you want the smaller areas, you want to use a smaller brush. That way it's not like you poke yourself in the eye. It's not uncomfortable. So again, fluffy brush, flat brush, something small for under your eye and if you want to be like me like where you use too many brushes you might want to add like a another fluffy brush for the technique that i'm going to use which it's not hard it's nothing difficult about it but i just don't feel like cleaning my brushes too much back and forth so i have two fluffy brushes but if you want to like if you have a color switch if you have some quick brush cleaner you just spray on a napkin and clean your brushes you only need one fluffy brush okay we're going to be using 
You can use, I'm going to show you what you can use in place of this, but this makes it a little bit easier. But if you don't have this Danessa Myricks liquid pigment, the black one, you can use just a black eyeliner pencil, something that smudges, like a smudgy black eyeliner pencil. You can use that and I'm going to show you how. Well, I'm going to explain to you how because I'll be using this because this is a lot quicker. So I put a little bit of that, just a little tiny bit, like not even a pea size amount on my um little makeup palette I have over here. And I'm going to take that placement brush I have, right? Dip it in there. And we're going to put that all on our lid. And it doesn't have to be super neat or anything like that because we're going to blend it out anyway. But putting this base down is going to make your smoky eye look super, super black. And a black smoky eye that's really black to me is just so pretty. Now I'm going to take my fluffy brush and kind of blend the edges a little bit. There's two ways to blend, right? There's this way, which is like the windshield wiper way or circular motions. That's going to diffuse the color, right? But let's say, let's say you just wanted colors to merge together. Like let's say you had a crease color in there and you just want the colors to merge without getting too muddy. Another way to blend is to tap with your fluffy brush. That's just merging colors together without it getting super, super muddy. But for this, we're just going to be using the diffusing the color technique. And it's going to look sloppy. It's fine. Now, if you don't have the color, like, like I said, you can use a pencil. You're just going to color. I'm not using the pencil. I'm using this technique. But you're going to color your eye in with the pencil, right? And then everything else is the same. So you color your eye in and then you blend it out. That's it. So you're going to take whatever brown shade that you want to use for your crease color so just take a brown shade and you're going to blend that all in your crease and it's going to look crazy for a while it's fine you just got to keep blending And I have hooded eyes, so I kind of want mine to go up a little higher because my eyes are hooded and I don't want to be able to see the color. So I kind of blended some of my stuff away and that's fine. Just want to take that flat brush again and add more. I think there was a little bit of shimmer in that brown, which I did not particularly want, but it's fine. I'm gonna take that brush again and diffuse the edges just a bit. All right now, you wanna clean it up a bit. Just take like a concealer or something and just use a brush and clean that up. No big deal. Then when you finally get the intensity that you want, it looks sloppy in the camera, but it's really not that sloppy. I don't know why the camera is making it look like that. Like that edge right there, but we're putting lashes on too. Like you don't do a smoky eye if you're not gonna put on mascara or lashes. To make that black really black, you're going to choose a black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow you want. And you use that same brush, just flip it to the other side, that same flat brush. You're going to take it and pat it on top of the black. And of course, you know, we're going to blend those edges too, but... And I'm using that tap technique because I kind of wanted to just blend like a gradient into each other. And I don't want it to be super muddy. 
you know, with black smoky eyes, it's kind of like, it is what it is because it's black. Take our black eyeliner. And we're going to put that in our waterline. Right now, whatever you do to the top, you got to do to the bottom. So, you don't necessarily have to go in with that, you know, the liquid pigment. But you are going to want to put some black under there. And then you're going to want to put some brown under there. So, I'm going to use a third blending brush. You don't have to, but, you know, I am because... I don't feel like cleaning my brushes right now. So I'm gonna take a third blending brush in with that brown. And blend that together. So it looks really super duper black, but that's what we want. We want it to be black. When we put the lashes on and everything, it'll come together. But you want your smoke, your black smoky eye, if you're like want, going for a dramatic look, to be really black so the last thing I like to do with my smoky eyes is because I just like shimmer I don't really like matte eyes too much but it, you know if I have to have a matte eye I'll wear it but I like to add shimmer to my eyes in some capacity so I'm going to you use your same flat brush if you want to I'm using a different flat brush and I'm going to dip in with a gold color we'll just use gold and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner you can use like a pigment you can use an eyeshadow you can use whatever you want but you can use a highlighter if you want if you don't want it to be too much let's put on some lashes I want my lashes to be Kind of fun and thick and long. Yep, I'm gonna use these. The same lashes from the last video. The IMV Extension Curl L Curl Lash. This one, I found it at the hair store and I love these lashes. I think they're so pretty. So I'm just gonna pop this on and do my other eye off camera real quick. All right, so this is the smoky eye complete, right? We're going to move on to the rest of my face because when you do something so intense like a smoky eye and you see I just look drowned out, I'm going to dress up the rest of my face. So, first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of, from this palette, I'm going to use that middle shade. That's the one I use the most. So, we're going to use that to shape our face even further also when you use these things like the contour and stuff like that i know that um or bronzers or whatever i know that um placement is very important right so when you place this you are always going to start out here because if you dip your brush in here and you start right here you're gonna have a big brown glob right there and it's gonna be harder to blend that out if you got a little, if you place a little bit much here, it's easier to blend that out than it is to blend this. So always start at your ear and come down, okay? If you feel like you got a little bit much going on, like I'm not big on blush too much, like I'm, I eased my way into it because I used to never wear it. Take your foundation brush and just kind of dab it a little bit. All right, I'm going to spray my face before I put my highlighter on because I want my highlighter to be a lot, you know. I'm going to use my Pat McGrath highlighter, the same one from the last video. I believe it was the last video I used that. I hope it was the last video I used that in. And I'm going to use this highlighter with a brush. Same color as before. It's a mess. So the, the one I always use, as you can tell, that color. All right. So to take my highlighter even further and be more obnoxious, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm and put that over our cheek highlighter. Let's be even more obnoxious. And I'm going to take the same blush colors and 
put them on my nose. Put it like, you know, a sick look. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a nude lip. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody gets so mad at me because I just do nude lips all the time, but we I'm not going to do a dramatic lip with a dark eye. That's going to look crazy to me. So we're going to use this brown lip liner by Kali Cosmetics. I don't know what it's called. True Brown. True Brown K. And then we're going to use this MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the color Impulsive. All right, I'll pull my hair down. So I can look more decent and not like I just rolled out of bed. I'm going to spray my face. Oof. Probably should have did that with my hair pulled back, but it's fine. Whatever. And this is it. It's easy. So a smoky eye is not hard whatsoever. I have matte lips. Maybe that's why I feel like this is off. I want to put some gloss on. That's better. Okay. So like I was saying... A smoky eye is not hard, right? Smoky eye is super easy. And if you learn a smoky eye, you'll be able to blend anything. So remember the blending techniques. The blending techniques are windshield wiper back and forth. That diffuses the color. But if you want to merge the two colors, two colors together, then it might get a little muddy. So then you'll want to do that pat motion with your blending brush, right? So windshield wiper, that's for diffusing the color. And padding is for merging colors together to make a nice, pretty gradient. And if you get this, then you'll be able to get any eyeshadow look you want. You're just going to have to tweak some things and learn some things. But the basic thing you want to learn is how to blend. And a smoky eye is perfect for that. And also a smoky eye is perfect for if you got somewhere to go and you're in a rush and you want to look real nice, you just do a smoky eye. You can do a brown one. You can do a green one. You can do whatever color you want. Just make sure you blend it properly and you'll be good to go. You don't even have to use brown like how I use brown, I just did it the traditional way. But usually, if I'm doing a black smoky eye, I'll probably just blend black and make it like smoke out into nothing. It's hard to explain. But smoky eyes are fun. They're efficient. And they look nice. So if you learned something, that's great. I'm glad. And I hope that you'll watch the next video.